How to make money from a small farm or plot of land. Many people think farmers have enviable lives. If you're a farmer, however, you may think otherwise. You work non-stop for very little money. Sometimes you feel like a prisoner to your buyers, and occasionally you wonder how much longer you can keep going. The weather seems to be against you, and you feel like you are working for nothing. Though small farmers believe their lives are far from ideal, I can't think of any farmer who would switch to a life in the city. So how do you get the best of both worlds? How can you maximize profit from your land, small farm or homestead? You don't have to stop at growing crops. Through diversification and thinking like an entrepreneur, you can achieve a much higher yield from your farm while keeping the lifestyle you love. Here are 22 ideas for you to consider for making the most of your small farm. Of course, some of these ideas will be more practical than others depending on your region, type of farm, etc. There are also restrictions, both federal and state, that need to be looked into before beginning some of these activities. That said, farmers are a determined breed. With a bit of planning, you can turn your farm into a money maker and begin enjoying life on your homestead once again. You are no longer just a farmer, you are an entrepreneur. 1. Grow gourmet and medicinal mushrooms. Growing mushrooms can be very lucrative. However, I recommend that you opt for specialist types of mushrooms if you're looking into cultivation. There is more money to be made from growing ones for medicinal use or the restaurant market. Trying to compete with the supermarket on button mushrooms wouldn't be an option unless your pricing or quality is better. Depending on the type of mushroom you choose to grow, you could harvest some in just 15 weeks, with a yield of up to 4 pounds per square foot. Other tips. Prior to harvest, contact local restaurants and take orders from them for a quick sale. Get a stall at a farmer's market to grow your reach in your sales. Educate yourself on the best practices for mushroom growing. Check local, state, and federal laws if you plan to sell it as a medicinal or health supplement. Growing Gourmet and Medicinal Mushrooms Growing Gourmet and Medicinal Mushrooms If your knowledge of mushrooms is only eating them on a pizza, this is an interesting and comprehensive look into the field of mushroom cultivation. This is my go-to book for anything that has to do with growing mushrooms. It is packed with information that will help a novice, and it will also answer questions of more experienced growers. This book is targeted at those who wish to grow mushrooms for commercial reasons, even on a small scale. The author Paul Stamets, a mycologist with over 20 years of experience, has many books, awards, and patents, and is considered the leading authority in the U.S. on mycology. 2. Turn your field into a campsite. Open a campsite. Especially if you live close to an urban area, people are always looking to find their next great outdoor vacation or just to escape the city limits for a change scenery and to reconnect with nature. To turn your land, or part of it, into a campsite, you'll need to construct a simple shower and toilet unit for your campers. Check with your local authorities for advice on using the main sewage and drains or if necessary install a septic tank. Some campsites are quite basic and don't provide electrical outlets while others have installed electricity for the campers to use. If your farm is near a tourist area, this is definitely one avenue to consider. The area or field you choose should also be level and dry, ensuring that campers can correctly and safely erect their tents. You can start small and put any profits into improving the facilities of your campsite. By reinvesting your earnings you will be creating a sustainable business without an initial expensive outlay. Other Tips Depending on your area, you could also have designated spots for motor homes and caravans. For these, you'll need to supply electricity and water. Consider opening a small shop with essential food items and toiletries, if you aren't close to a town. Campers who don't want to travel back into town will be happy to buy from you even if your prices are slightly higher than in a supermarket. Many people, especially retired couples, live in RVs permanently. They will often spend a few weeks at a campsite if they like it. Offer free Wi-Fi for your campers. Everyone expects to remain connected to the internet 24-7, even when they're camping. The access code can be changed weekly to keep those who aren't camping from using it. If you are going to allow campers to bring dogs, have an area fenced off as a dog latrine. No one wants to step in dog mess. This will keep dog owners and non-dog owners happy. 
Start a website or blog advertising your campsite. Ask your customers who visit to post their pictures on social media channels. Word of mouth advertising is free and often the best kind. 3. Farm snails for profit. It is easy to think of snails only as pests, but they can earn you great money. Snail farming, or heliciculture, has been around for many years. In some developing nations, it is becoming an important export crop. To farm snails, you'll need to provide them with shelter, plants, and food, this can vary depending on your situation. Some farmers use outdoor pens which are open, others use netting to keep them in. I have also seen them grown commercially in poly tunnels. Below you can see a video of a woman who started small and has now built it into a profitable venture in Africa. As she says snails are the ideal livestock to have as they don't smell or make noise. Before investing in structures to house them, start small and develop a market for them. Then, if you see the demand growing, expand by increasing the available housing for them. 4. Organize a swap meet. If you have a field that's being left fallow, consider using it on the weekend for a large swap meet. People love to wander around a field to see what kind of bargains they can find. Charge the vendors a small fee, maybe $7 per car and $15 per truck depending on your area and demand. If you stick with it, this could develop into a profitable weekend venture that can be moved to a different field each season. Depending on where you live, you could even have the swap meet year-round. Ensure you have an area for parking off-road for those looking to buy. Signs on the street and even an ad in the newspaper will bring people flocking to your field for potential bargains. Once your swap meet car boot sale in the UK gets known, advertising won't be necessary as your client base expands. This requires very little investment, but needs organizing to get vendors. 5. Start a bed and breakfast. If you have spare rooms or a barn that can be converted into rooms, consider opening a bed and breakfast. This is one of the most popular ways to earn more money from your farm. People who live in cities love to experience a slice of life on a working farm. They love to see the animals and possibly even help out with farming chores. It can be an exciting time for both adults and children. The level of accommodation you offer can vary depending on the type of customer you wish to attract. Even offering simple sleeping rooms as a youth hostel could bring in extra cash. If your farm is near an area that requires many workers, even if it is only seasonally, you could rent the rooms to the company. By renting to a reputable company, you're more likely to get paid on time and paid regularly. Companies such as Airbnb make it simple to rent out spare rooms for guests. Their website is straightforward and many people have come to trust it. This could be run in conjunction with your own website promoting your available accommodation. If your farm is near a cycleway, hiking trails, or a popular tourist attraction you could do quite nicely from renting rooms. Be sure to mention the nearby attractions and activities on your website or advertisement. Check with your insurance company to see if a change of policy is necessary. 6. Rental space for meetings or gatherings. Do you have a barn that could be easily converted into open space? Consider renting it for a range of gatherings, such as business meetings, classrooms, or an exercise facility such as for step classes. Advertise in local newspapers or on supermarket bulletin boards in your area. There are always people looking for areas for meetings. This could earn you money during the day, evenings, and weekends. Parking availability is always a bonus for some. Depending on the level of improvement you want to do, you could supply chairs and tables, exercise equipment, or other supplies. You should offer to help supply refreshments or have them on hand since that can be a valuable source of income as well. 7. Rent your field to metal detecting clubs or allow metal detectors to scan your land. Between plantings, you could allow metal detectors to scan your land. They may find a bounty that would be half yours if you own the land. Alternatively, you could bury metallic objects in your field and hire it out to metal detecting clubs. People in these clubs are always looking for places to test and improve their skills. Contact your local metal detecting club to find out what they would require. Remember that refreshments, even just drinks out of an ice chest or from the trunk of your car, can earn you extra money. Something as simple as a thermos flask of hot coffee on a cold morning will keep the group happy and eager to return. 8. 
raised tilapia or other kinds of fish. Raising fish such as tilapia can be a very profitable business. For tilapia, you will need to be in an area where the water temperature stays about 20 degrees Celsius 68 degrees Fahrenheit. If your temperature is lower than this, you may need to heat the water which, of course, is costly. The fish will survive in cooler temperatures but the growth rate will be slower. Depending on the size of fry, young fish, you buy, your harvest could be ready in approximately 6 months depending on what size you wish to sell your fish at. This is one of the ways my husband and I make money from our farm here in Brazil. 9. Private Fishing Lakes If you have lakes or can dig them, you can develop public fishing lakes. Normally there are two types, the first is a catch and release, and is solely for the enjoyment of fishing. The customer would pay as they enter and then stay there all day. This could also be combined with camping as mentioned earlier. The other type is fish and pay. They catch the fish, which are then weighed and paid for. Either option is profitable. You will, of course, need to stock your lakes and ensure you have parking facilities fairly close by. Other tips. In addition to these, if you had refreshments for sale you would be earning from those since not everyone brings their own food and drinks. You could also run a small bait and tackle shop on the premises to cater for your customers. Consider renting out rods and reels for those who come for the day. Have a dedicated picnic area with barbecue facilities. 10. Raise worms. Consider raising worms to sell as bait to fishing shops. The worms can be raised in tubs, bins, or barrels and you could be harvesting your crop in just 90 days. But it isn't just the worms that have value, since the soil left behind is full of worm casings and provides some of the richest sources of nutrients for your garden. This could bring in a secondary income stream as compost for gardens. Not only is it an easy, low-maintenance way of earning more from your farm. It is also completely eco-friendly and as such opens your farm to another type of customer. More ideas for making small acreage profitable breed dogs. Raise specialty animals like ostriches, llama, or deer. Grow dual crops. Sell farm by products. Enter sweepstakes to win farm equipment. Give talks and demonstrations. Rent your land for antennae, turbines, or solar panels. Sell seeds. Write about farming. Rent your land for weddings and other special events. Rent beehives. Open your farm to the public. Rent fields for parking. Rent space for motorhome or boat storage. Rent space for airstrips or heliports. Grow flowers. Make farming videos. 11. Breed dogs. This is a controversial subject, and I am sure many people think I shouldn't include this since in many countries there are animal shelters that are full of dogs waiting for a good home. That said, there are still people who want certain pedigree breeds of dogs. I am not suggesting anything like a puppy mill. Consider breeding small dogs, or an unusual breed since the return on investment will be better. Large dogs, of course, will cost more to feed. Other tips. You should ensure that your kennels are purpose-built and that you have factored in the cost of veterinarian bills. This is not a get-rich-quick scheme. Breeding dogs is challenging, and there is significant startup cost. That said, it can be rewarding and lucrative. 12. Raise specialist breeds of animals, e.g. ostriches. If space allows, consider raising what I call niche market animals. Some of these could include the following, and there are often multiple products that you can sell from the same animal. Guinea fowl you can sell guinea fowl meat, feathers, eggs, and young. Quail you can sell quail young, meat, and eggs. Rabbit. You can sell rabbit meat, pets, and fur. Ostrich, emu. You can sell ostrich meat, emu oil, feathers, and eggs. Goat. You can sell goat meat, milk, butter, cheese, young, and hair. Llama. You can sell llama wool. Young llamas. They also provide security for flocks of sheep. Deer you can sell deer meat, fur, and antlers. 13. Grow dual crops. Depending on what you are growing you may be able to plant two crops side by side, saving you space. Here on our farm, we have planted coconut trees that are spaced 5 meters apart, and between these we plant crops such as beans, zucchini, courgette, and cucumbers. 
because we have irrigation already in place to water the coconuts, which have deeper roots, we can use the space to greater, more profitable effect. The income generated from the earlier crop will pay for the cost of electricity to water the coconuts. There are lots of combinations of crops that are good to grow together, helping you generate higher yields using the same amount of space and water. 14. Sell farm by products. There are many by-products on a working farm, and some of them have resell value. Here are a few ideas. Feathers, if you have any feathered friends on your farm, be they wild or domesticated, consider collecting and selling the feathers. People love to include them in crafts such as jewelry making, hat making, and other kinds of accessories. Manure, if you raise animals, you know that manure is great for gardens. You can bag and sell manure to the public or small garden centers. 15. Wind Farm Equipment Although we are discussing making money on your farm, let's not forget the old saying that a penny saved is a penny earned. With that in mind, consider entering the sweepstakes. Because of the explosion of people who are now homesteading or have small urban farms, many companies are offering prizes that are useful for farming, everything from chicken incubators to tractors. I ran a website where I listed sweepstakes, contests and competitions which can be entered online. There are sweepstakes which are open to the various regions and also worldwide. If you happen to win a prize that you can't use, you can sell it. 16. Public speaking and demonstrations. Money doesn't always have to come from just farming activities. Some people earn money by giving talks about farming activities. Schools, community centers, and public venues always need speakers. Many of these groups pay. The larger the group, the more they'll pay. If you are a confident speaker, this is an avenue you should consider. Topics such as Beekeeping Growing vegetables or flowers Natural pest control Organizing a farmer's market Homemade ice cream Jam making this is just a selection of topics you could speak about. These talks can be at your farm or you may need to travel to their venue. You don't have to be an expert, but you do need to be entertaining, informed and passionate about your topic. Some of these topics can be demonstrated and others would require a series of slides and videos. There are many groups who require speakers, it is necessary to contact business owners, your chamber of commerce and even your local library. Begin networking and if you don't feel confident, start with small groups and speak for free until you become accustomed to the limelight. Once you begin to get feedback and you know your subject matter backwards, you are ready to charge money for your talks. 17. Rent your land for an antenna, turbines, or solar panels. Cellular antennas. Is your land at a high point? This could potentially bring you the bonus income you were looking for. Consider contacting cellular phone or internet companies to determine if an antenna could be placed on your property. Though they pay handsomely, you may be concerned about the potential cancer-causing problems. Do some research and find out what areas would be considered safe. Wind turbines. Are you in a windy area? Are there turbines already nearby? You could also see about getting a wind turbine. A farm near us has sand dunes which aren't suitable for growing anything, but he now has a few Korean-owned wind turbines on them and is raking in a small fortune for doing nothing. We also know of farmers in the UK who have these in their fields. They continue to farm but make more money from the turbines. Solar Panels Another possibility is putting solar panels on your land, which are connected to the national grid. This is very popular in Spain and is taking off in other sunny countries. You could not only receive free electricity yourself, but the electricity company could pay you. How is that for a good money-making idea? 18. Sell seeds and plants over the internet. If you grow any unique or different types of flowers, fruits, or vegetables, consider selling the seeds. Many people feel bound by what commercial, home garden, seed companies provide, but there is so much more available. This has seen an increase in recent times with the worry about crops grown using genetically modified or GM seeds. Heirloom seeds, or those which are passed down or natural seeds, have seen a sharp increase in sales. Whether it is an enormous pumpkin variety or a dainty flower, keen gardeners are always on the lookout for something new. Remember to get a photo of it when it's looking its best, as it will sell much easier. 
You could advertise your seeds on eBay or its equivalent in your country. Other tips. Though seeds can be easily sold over the internet, the one thing you can't do is send them abroad. There are strict laws in some countries about taking or mailing seeds or plants to a different country. If listing on the internet, make the customer aware that that is their responsibility to check regulations before placing an order. Include instructions for planting in the packaging, when to plant, where to plant, the type of soil the plant prefers, etc. You should have all the information that you would normally see on the back of a seed packet. Type it up, print it out, and send a copy along with the seeds. This will ensure the customer is happy, and a happy customer will buy from you again. Plus they are also your best advertisement. If you exceed their expectations, they will leave a glowing review for you which will boost your business. 19. Publish articles online besides farming, you could also write articles about your farming activities. It is easy to get published online in a variety of places for free. If you keep with it, you might be able to start earning money from articles about a wide variety of topics that you choose. Writing online isn't a get-rich-quick scheme, though. Like anything, the more you put into it, the more you get out of it. For me, it fits in nicely with my lifestyle here on the farm and provides an additional stream of passive income. 20. Rent your land for special events like weddings and parties. Consider renting out your land as a wedding or special events venue. Having your wedding in a barn or on a farm is fairly popular nowadays, and people are always looking for beautiful locations for parties or other ceremonies. Your level of involvement could be as much or as little as you wish. You could have the marquees including tables and chairs, or the party planner could do this. Again, you could provide the food or allow that to be outsourced. Other tips. If you're considering renting out your space for weddings, you'll want to make sure you have bathrooms and dressing rooms that are clean and welcoming, especially for the bridal party. Depending on where you live, it might be fun to rent out your barn for a Thanksgiving or Christmas feast. 21. Rent out beehives. Bees are currently in demand, not only for their honey but also for their ability to pollinate. There has been a dramatic decline in the bee population due to colony collapse disorder CCD. It's unclear why it's happening, and there are many theories about the source, but the bottom line is that the demand is great for these little miracles of nature. If you have hives and can take them to fields for pollination, you can expect to earn $136 for each hive you provide. This is based on figures provided by the article, Economics and the Leap in Pollination Fees, UC Davis.